best, worst kept secret. <laughs> 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 so.
Wagner, Hanford Supermarkets, the Main Lottery, the Silverdale Family, and Unum. These organizations champion Maine educators and we're grateful for their support. Now at this time, I want to invite to the podium the co-president of the Maine County and State Teachers of the Year Association and the 2021 Waldo County Teacher of the Year and 2022 Maine Teacher of the Year finalists, Hillary Belfort. people 
we're honoring in this room today. And I, you know, it might be, it, it's, it's almost like every year, I can't imagine that we're going to see the same compassion or, or commitment to what, and every single time I meet a cohort of the main family teachers to be here, I am humbled beyond words. And I'm grateful that my department gets to work in service to you and to support and help, help and elevate what you're doing in your classrooms every day. I'm excited to know that we will be working on some potential projects <laughs> together as a team, and I am deeply looking forward to that and to um, encouraging all of you throughout the process, which is truly, is it, it's so exciting. Isn't it exciting right now? I recommend, um, in addition to taking advantage of all these opportunities, write a journal during this year. Just keep a little journal so that you can document the incredible experiences that you're going to have and you so deeply deserve. Thank you for everything you do in your classrooms. Thank you for representing the thousands of Maine educators who are tirelessly working every day to shape our future and to hold the most important work of our society in their capable hands. And with no further delay, it's my honor to introduce to you all a true champion of education, a person whose administration has been committed to supporting schools, getting us to the, the place where we are funding our schools in a, an exemplary way and in accordance with the law. <laughs> and also, who cares deeply about educators and has demonstrated that throughout all of the policies and uh, the, the priorities that we are carrying out on your behalf every single day. So, Governor Mills. Joshua was sitting where you all are up now as Cumberland County's Teacher of the Year. I'm so glad you're with me today, Joshua, and to recognize your fellow teachers and thank you for your leadership. Um, today we celebrate 16 teachers, very different backgrounds, different areas, and different specialties. And we celebrate their commitment to make students take them all together. These County Teachers of the Year have taught thousands of students from kindergarten to 12th grade on every topic from social studies and science to health and phys ed and biology and technology, English language, arts, everything. And the colleagues, parents, and community leaders and members who nominated these people spoke about, all spoke about their decades long dedication to their classrooms, their commitment to holding their students to the highest standards and their compassion for the children in their care, all of whom we want to grow up in healthy environments and communities to be productive, wonderful citizens of this state. I want to personally congratulate, congratulate Teacher of the Year from Franklin County, my home county, <laughs> Vicki Laylor, who has Uh, when she nominated her, 
the principal, Tracy Williams, said, Vicki is, quote, a great example of finding ways to connect with each student, all while she ups her game instructionally. Congratulations, Vicki, and thank you all. And thank you for all you do to educate the next generation in Maine and Franklin County. In addition to being governor, as you probably know, I'm also the daughter of a longtime public school teacher who's taught for about 37 years. And I'm someone who raised five daughters, all of whom went to the public schools, different public schools in Maine. And now I have, I'm the grandmother of five children, five, five grandchildren, all in Maine as well. I know how hard all of you work. My mother raised five children and worked full time. My father worked full time. And I got married and became the seventh stepmother of five children whose mother was deceased. I finally understood what it was my mother went through. <laughs> she came home from school every day, tired, exhausted, not really wanting to make dinner in the kitchen. Can't imagine. Um, and learn what that was like. When I campaigned for the legislature, when I did doors at farms and industry, I thought people knew me because I'd been a district attorney. No, no, they all said, oh, you can't know this daughter. <laughs> they all knew my mother because she taught school for so long she had several generations of students, all of whom were pretty, pretty good people. So teachers have such a wide range of influence on our lives. It's pretty clear. We don't always call you heroes every day, but you are heroes. You deserve our respect and our recognition every day, not just during ceremonies like this one. And in this administration, you have that respect. Just this session of the legislature, I'm proud to say we enacted a supplemental budget that provides an additional $22.6 million for main public schools through GPA, General Purpose Aid Education. Through that formula, us at 55%, uh, the state share of 55% of the cost of public education. People don't realize when you say 55%, that keeps increasing, of course. The denominator increases, the numerator increases. So in this biennial budget alone, this, this past year and a half, two years, we've um, provided an additional $100 million total, plus this 22.6 million, just to keep us at 55% state funding, state share of education. It's an ongoing and increasing, uh, ongoing increasing amount, and we're trying to stay on top of that. So, I'm proud to say we're keeping on top of that. And over the course of my administration, we've invested on hands-on learning opportunities by expanding computer science education, career and technical education, extended learning opportunities, and outdoor education. It's a great place to have outdoor educational experiences. These are the kinds of engaging learning opportunities that I know teachers and students truly value. And we want to empower your creativity, your sense of innovation, inside and outside the classroom. In me, you will always have an advocate for public education. And on behalf of the many children you serve across the state of Maine, I thank each one of you for all you've done to support our, support our state and our children's futures. Congratulations to our County Teachers of the Year on this well-deserved honor and happy Teacher Appreciation Week. Thank you.
are displayed replicas of flags that represent two centuries of service to our state and our country. Sitting here before me are 16 amazing educators who are here to be recognized for their extraordinary service. Service to their students, their schools, their counties, and to their state. Collectively, they represent 286 years of educational excellence. That's right, 286 years. And their legacies are carried forward by the hundreds of students whose lives have been shaped by these caring, compassionate humans. Over the next year, these 16 teachers will represent the roughly 14,000 educators who do extraordinary work day in and day out in classrooms representing the rich diversity of our state. They represent urban, suburban, and rural communities, and they will be giving voice to their students and their families, their colleagues, their counties, and their state. They will spend the next year being the experts in the room. Today, the soon-to-be-named 2024 Maine County Teachers of the Year are going to begin a journey of reflection and personal and professional growth, and are going to forge relationships that will be lasting and life-changing. How do I know? A year ago, I sat right where you were sitting. As 2023 Maine Teacher of the Year Matt Bernstein spoke, it began to dawn on me how big of a deal this actually is. Let me say that again. This is a big <laughs> deal. <laughs>
introduced myself to our flight attendant and made my ask. She reacted to my request with a mix of bewilderment, yeah, I get why, and excitement. Leaning forward on the drink cart, she exclaimed, my daughter was just hired for her first job out of college. She's teaching second grade. I excitedly told her that I teach second grade. She then proceeded to pepper me with questions, asking for advice she can give to her daughter who was having some new teacher struggles. And she stayed there for the next five minutes, talking to me, soaking in my enthusiasm. Listen, I'm not gonna lie. Part of me was distracted by the dozen of dozens of folks sitting behind me, eagerly awaiting their drinks and teeny tiny bags of pretzels. <laughs> I could almost feel, feel their stares boring into the back of my head. After our chat, and maybe she slipped me an extra teeny tiny bag of pretzels, <laughs> she went about her business, and I actually continued working on this very speech. At the end of the flight, she was waiting for me at the cockpit door, cockpit door helped grab my bags, and after I finished taking my photo with Captain Mitch, shyly asked if she could have a photo too. You see, she wanted to tell her daughter about the main teacher of the year, who she had met, who after 32 years can't imagine doing anything else because his job lifts him up and inspires him every day. On that flight to Washington, D.C., the title main teacher of the year sparked a conversation that is going to impact a teacher who I am never going to meet. I have had so many little conversations like this throughout my year of service. Between our schools far outweigh the differences. The truth is, in many ways, I'm exactly the same teacher I was a year ago. But in more ways, I am changed for the better because of the amazing example set by my 2023 cohort and amazing friends for life of County Teachers of the Year. I was always passionate, but now I am more passionate. I was always enthusiastic, but now I am more enthusiastic. But what is perhaps the most important thing of all, I was always proud to be a teacher, but now I am proud to be a main teacher. Teachers of the Year, we'd like to rep invite representatives from our program partners and funders to join us next to the podium to congratulate each educator. From the Maine Department of Education, Commissioner Pender Macon and, Dep and Deputy Commissioner Dan Shuda. Chair Fern Desjardins. <laughs> From Educate Maine, Executive Director Jason Judd. <laughs> Representing the Maine State and County Teachers of the Year Association, Hillary Belfort. Troy Jackson.
teaches second grade students in Farmington at the W.G. Mallet School in RSU 9. This teacher holds an Associate of Science degree in Business from Thomas College and a Bachelor of Science, a Bachelor of Arts degree in English Literature from the University of Southern Maine and has been teaching for 15 years. She was nominated by her supervising principal, Tracy Williams. Congratulations, Vicki Laylor. education. 
education degree in educational leadership from the University of Southern Maine and has been teaching for 29 years. She was nominated by her teaching colleague, Mira Harmon. Congratulations, Becky Hollowell.
SU-75, MSAD-75, serving the communities of Bowdoin, Bowdoinham, Harpswell, and Topsom. This teacher holds a Bachelor of Science degree in Biology and Chemistry with a concentration in Environmental Science from Salve Regina University and a Master of Science degree in Wildlife Biology from Unity Environmental University and has been teaching for six years. She was nominated by her teaching colleague, Susie Braun. Congratulations to Allison Gilbert.
Can I stop my life? Shut the door.